Hello, geek and geekettes, and here is your geek news for October 23rd, 2019. If you are watching this on YouTube and BitChute, well, I'm not going to repeat myself like I have been, but you know how to fill in the blank right channel. In the description, there is the link to the Twitch if you want to catch it live as well as show times, because we have lots of fun tripping over our own tongues during our own broadcasts. You're missing all the information, well, all the conversation, all the bloopers, and all the shenanigans that goes on in between articles. We'd love to have you in the live chat. Pop on in anytime we're live. Uh, first story it was brought to my attention by Mitch in the live chat. Swoter Ocelot expansion is out October 22nd. The team behind Star Wars The Old Republic launched a new expansion, Onslaught, which features a, a new level cap, new world, new quests, and more. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands! No pressure, as the conflict between the Galactic Republic and the Sith Empire heat up once more. The planets Onderon and Meksha are introduced, with the latter planet playing host to smugglers, pirates, mercenaries, traitors, and refugees, while Onderon is a jungle planet with a conspiracy to uncover. <clears throat> new tactical items have been introduced into the game, with this expansion along with new set bonuses and other gear. The level cap has been raised to 75 for all players in Onslaught. They also have new expanded abilities for the advanced classes. Now, Tolan Race is now available in the uh, cartel shop, which is, I just popped the picture up there, that way you can see what the new race looks like. Uh, the new Flashpoint, Corellia, which is kind of like an instance, for those of you that know what instances are in MMOs, and a new operation, Soon, Zoon are live. Uh, get, uh, you get to fight for a shipyard in Corellia while Zoon has you coming across many foes on a remote moon of Onderon. For, more, for a more in-depth rundown of the patch, <clears throat> be on the lookout for a standalone video. So far it's getting fun to bash Stadia. Hi, I'm a Merlin, and we're going to bash Stadia. I mean, <clears throat> I mean uh, talk about Stadia, sorry. Google Stadia shows within two weeks of launch. The Google is launching Stadia November 19th, but that doesn't mean the products you order will get there on the 19th. As a matter of fact, with them shipping out the products in the order they were received, everyone who ordered from Google may have to wait up to two weeks after launch to get their order. Google blogs say Stadia's Founder Edition will start arriving on gamer store ships on November 19, 2019. Stadia Founders Editions and Stadia Premier Editions will get shipping in the same order pre-orders were received. They do say they will notify the customers via email of when their product ships out, along with an activation code shortly after. What's the point in having a release date if the shit that you pre-ordered isn't going to get there on the release date? I thought Google was like a leader in like social media and other businesses and stuff. Like They were supposed to be the big brains. Yeah, you get that impression that they're supposed to be, but they're not acting like it. No, this is not a big brain operation. Right? Oh, this is a big brain operation mm -hmm. right here. I mean, what? If you're going to say November 19th, would you believe that the product will be there on November 19th? Not wait to the day that it releases and then send it? Right? I, you would I'm, think. I'm not smart, though. I'm not smart. I don't have a college education, so I'm probably missing something because big brain operations are just out of my realm. It, it's, so. it's dumb. <laughs> All right, and the other dumb thing that happened, Activision tries to nuke Modern Warfare leaks. You heard it here, of folks. Course. In a monumental effort to keep the game under wraps before the official launch, Activision is taking down any and all footage of Call of Duty Modern Warfare that has been popping up due to pre-order customers receiving the game before its actual release. Oops. The footage, which contains co-op play, campaign footage, operator skins, weapon variants, and other game content is being sought out by the company and actively taken down off of platforms like Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Streamable, and even Google Drive. Activision has an uphill battle before them if they truly believe they can cap any leaks before launch. The title is expected to officially launch on October 25th. Oh, act you silly Activision. You silly, silly Activision. You know, as well as anyone, that once something leaks, you're that's it. It's out there. You're never going to track it down. <clears throat> but good luck, though. Good try. Good, yeah. good effort. Good effort. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and we have another uh, possible leak going. Let me see. Oh, no. By the way, Mitch wants to play Command & Conquer I now. I saw that. Excellent. 
way. That's a classic. And it says, Suda51 and Swery65 are collaborating on a new horror game. Now, who are they? They're the creators of No More Heroes and Deadly Premonition. Goichi, Suda51, and Hiditaka, Swery65, Sui Hero are teaming up to create a horror game. Maybe. Which they started Maybe. piecing together on a live stream hosted by IGN Japan. So, <clears throat> they wanted to make an indie game, according to the translator, rather than a big-budget horror romp, and they'll be working with publisher Devolver Digital, which has given them a budget of $1 million. So it's looking promising so far. Remember, this is a rumor, this is a leak, somebody heard this on a live stream somewhere. Suda mentioned Siren, the PS2 survival horror game, as an inspiration. One possibly is that the player could explore the Hotel Barcelona's rooms, which could represent different people or dimensions. Sweary, meanwhile, said that he's more interested in suspense, like Twin Peaks, uh, playing a completely evil character. In other words, part of the brainstorming session is possibly playing a completely evil character or maybe a journalist writing about the hotel. They discuss putting real people in the game and getting them to send in pictures. The antagonist could be a monster or spirit that's murdering guests while the hotel could be set anywhere, with one example being a love hotel in Tokyo. Uh, the team's already grown, too, and now apparently includes Siren director Keiichiro Toyama, who they texted in the offer with the offer during the live stream. This looks very promising. Yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually curious. I actually want to play a game that's like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goddess Brie. Yay, Devolver! Devol Devolver is pro-free speech and creativity, so they tend to be a good one if this is true. Yeah, crossing fingers. Because uh -huh. I don't... So, yeah, so we'll watch out <laughs> EA Sports and uh, the other one will come crashing over them. Right. Try to take them over. Right. All right. So uh, That is your geek news for October 23rd, people. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't yet. Follow me over there on BitChute. Check out all my socials. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and if you can't behave, well, be good at it. Or as my friend Merlin likes to say. Hi, I'm a Merlin. Uh, remember to use your mind today before someone uses it tomorrow. Bye. Catch you in the next one. That's another video down, guys. If you liked it, that's what the thumbs up button is for. We don't like to mention the other button, but, you know, I'll do this. Um, if that subscribe button is red, uh, feel free to watch more content to, um, you know, I find it that maybe you might want to turn it gray and it's a little button next to it that may or may not, you know, notify you, depending on whether or not, you know, YouTube is on a period or not, or it's uh, If you want to continue the conversation, that's what the uh, comment section is for, and you can find any and all links to support the channel in the description. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and behave, but if you can't behave, you get at it. Thank you.